Really? Yes. His name is Becky. And there was this guy named David, and he was the king of Israel. And he had a friend named Jonathan. But Jonathan died and left behind a son named Mephibosheth. Or Mephi. Mephi? Yes, but Mephi was lame. You mean like he was a nerd? No, sweetie. It means he couldn't walk. And since his father had died, the king sent for a servant to bring Mephi to him. Was he scared? Oh, he was terrified at first. He was thinking, well, what does the king want with a lame orphan like me? <laughs> but his fear didn't last long. David adopted Mephi, and they ate meals together, and he lived in his house. David thought that Mephi was important, so important that he made him a son. So, about this new kid, Jack. I should be kind to him, like David was to Mephi. Exactly. But I mean, that's different. Mephi became the son of a king, but nobody important knows about Jack. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, sweetie. Let me tell you another story. Two thousand years ago, God sent his son, Jesus, into the world. And he was born and lived and eventually died on the cross and rose from the grave. He died for our sins. And if we believe in him, then God will forgive us of our sins. So when we die, we can go to heaven and live with him. Really? And more importantly, God adopts us, just like David adopted Nephi. So we all become brothers and sisters in God's family. Jesus becomes our brother. God becomes our father. And so you see, if Jack has given his heart to Jesus, then he's not an orphan at all. And if God thinks that Jack is important enough to make him a son, then we should show him love too. I understand. Excellent. Come on, let's go outside and chase some bunnies. Oh, what? Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you, Thank you, Okay, okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> we, uh, we decided to tell this story because um, sometimes we forget that everybody around us is very important to Jesus. No matter how different they are or where they come from or whatever is, is whatever they, whatever is wrong with them. They're very important to Jesus, and Jesus loves them very much. I know that Jesus loved me very much, and I decided to give my life to Jesus. And I wanted to tell you today, if you at any point decide that you want to give your life to Jesus, these people in the back and these people that are here with the Fun Day School would love to tell you how you can do that, because he has a plan for you. And sometimes life is hard, and it doesn't make sense, and we go through hurts, and we go through pain. But you know what? Jesus loves you very much and he's got a plan for you. So nothing else matters because the king of all creation, the God who created everything we see, loves you, each and every one of you, very much. And he loves you so much that he died for you. So Easter, which is this upcoming Sunday, did you guys know that Easter is coming up? Did you know that? Yeah, because it's candy time. All right. Yeah. Time to get some chocolate in. I'm down with that, that's for sure. Uh, I mean, nobody better touch my Easter basket, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say right there. I'm just kidding, but seriously. No, but um, <laughs> it is a lot of fun to um, go on Easter egg hunts and get some candy and stuff. But the, the reason that we celebrate Easter is Easter is the day that Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus didn't just die on the cross. He rose from the dead, and that's hard to explain and hard to understand. We can't understand that, because when our friends die, they die. And But Jesus didn't die. He, he rose from the dead. And we wanted to give you something to help you remember Jesus on this very special day. We have a cross, and I think we have those coming. Little crosses for you and some candy as well. So thank you so much for listening. And remember that Jesus loves you more than anybody else. All right? Thanks.
wasn't that a wonderful story? And didn't those actors should look, give them a big hand of applause? Thank you for joining us here today. Thank you for seeing your son and dying on the cross for us because none of us deserve it. We've all done something we know is wrong. Thank you for listening to us as we pray. Now some of us are going to be quiet. But you love us more than we could ever imagine. And I thank you for that. And I pray that you just view us as we go in this week and let us reflect on what Easter really means. And I pray this in your precious name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Look at the camera and tell me what you like about Funday School. One day is it's fun and it's good. You like the games? And I like the games. You like all the music they do? Yeah. That was a pretty and good like skit today, huh? And I like the music. And fun day good is good for people to learn. Well, thank you. Did you enjoy the skit today? Yes. All right, man. We'll see you later.